Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Hey, it is very nice to have you here today. Uh, so on the table in front of us is the Arcane Designs Pratheon. Now, I really like this knife. It's small for me. It is. But it's really comfortable and just a great cutter. Uh, you know, it's got a little schmutz on it. It's what happens when you use your knives. But I, you know, green isn't really my jam. So um, I bought this. These are replacement inserts, right? And so today what we're going to do is install them. So I'm going to pause this for just a second while I find my reading glasses. Okay, now, with the G10 inserts, uh, all you have to do is remove a single screw and you can lay the inserts in. With the titanium inserts, you have to go in from the back and use these flathead screws. So the first thing we're going to do is take this apart. So, by the way, this is the case that it comes in. This thing is really nice. All right. Now, you've seen the review of this, so there's no reason to really go over it. Um, this is a great knife, you guys. For 200 bucks, um, it, it's really just excellently done. I really like it. So I'm going to make it my own. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is loosen up the pivot. And for that, is it probably T8? Let's see. Yep, that's an eight. Okay, we'll get that loose. I think we're gonna have to pull that out. I don't know. That's a six or a seven, so let's find out together. Is that a T8 also? It is. Wow. That was well and truly put in there. Set that over to the side, remove the pocket clip. Let's see if this will turn. Everything's T8. Wow. That's cool. One of the complaints I hear a lot from the larger sort of community is that nobody likes T6s anymore. And that's okay. You don't have to. They are harder to work with. And they are... Right, we'll set that to the side. Let's open it up and see... That'll just pop. Let's go ahead and use this. It looks like we're coming apart. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty. Nice and clean. Well done. Got your stop pin. Got your bearings. Little backspacer back here, which is really nice. Okay. Lost our... That's okay. All right. I'm going to grab a second. Hang on a sec. All right. T8s all around. So we pop this. Well, that's interesting. comes right out and on this side so how you guys doing out there anyway uh, some things you should probably know I'm gonna take a little bit of a break now I'm not going anywhere like you know I mean I'll still be around but I'm gonna Give myself a little bit of a break. So what you're going to see from the channel going forward is 
And that lays in place like that, right? And I'll use one of these flat screws. Put that in. And that looks T60 to me. So we're going to leave that for a sec. Yeah, so anyway, um, I'm going to continue to make videos, but I'm going to focus on stuff that I really like. Um, I'll still do the shorts, and I'll do the longer, sort of longer form, what's in the pocket as we go, but, you know, between, between working two jobs, oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks really good, uh, between working two jobs and trying desperately to just keep up with content like I you know there are so many knives that drop these days that while they are very cool I don't really they're not really for me so I'm going to focus primarily on stuff that I like yeah that's a lot better <laughs> I'll keep those to the side okay so that goes in there This, I'll tell you what, let's hit this with some lube. Did I not bring it? Hmm. Hang on. Okay, so this is some industrial lube that I got at a gun show. Uh, it's called Petron Plus Industrial Super Lube, and I have to tell you, I've had the best luck with this. Um, I'll go ahead and post a link in the description. So I'm just going to put a little of this in the race. I think that somebody used that to scrape something. There was a little bit of goop in the <laughs> top of the needle. There we go. All right, a little bit. And we'll go ahead and put that down. Nice. We'll lay the blade in. Nick Shabazz is always really good at being gentle with these things. I always put too much lube on, as it were. And we'll go ahead and lay that over the top. Nice. Nice. Pops right into place. Very good. And we'll start the pivot. just to get things sort of started. So anyway, I'm going to do less, just less, less videos on things that I don't particularly care about. Now these are not the same. I think the longer one goes here. And more videos on just stuff that I really do care about. Because I really love knives. But... I've had about enough, you know, G10 and D2. I mean, when every once in a while something will pop up that I think is really cool. But for the most part, eh. So I'm going to try to stay with the things that really make me smile. You know? And when I get something that is particularly cool, like this piece here, I'll do a little bit like this to make it my... Oh my goodness. Let's try that again, shall we? Big hands, small parts. Also, uh, they magnetize the drive the bits, which is cool, but also sometimes kind of a pain in the ass. All right, there we go. No, did I miss it? Okay. Well, let's uh, let's try that again, shall we? One more time for luck. First, let's make sure that this one's tightened down. Go 
go ahead and tighten the pivot and see where we are. Yeah, nice and lined up. Good snap. Let's go ahead and do that. I love this reversible clip, by the way. You can put it on either direction, whatever works for you. Israel is a really nice guy with a great eye for design. All right, are we in? Are we get where we need to be. Let's give it a shot. Stupid magnetic. Anyway, we're almost done. So, I guess what I'm saying to you guys is, you know, keep your eyes open and on the channel, and I'm looking forward to new stuff, but it's going to be less for a while. There we go. Get that nice and tight. Let's get that nice and... Give that a little bit of a torque. Maybe too tight. Let's find out. Nope, that's perfect, and we are still dead centered. This is a really good design. And there you have it. That is the Pratheon with some of the aftermarket titanium inserts. I will keep these, because I think I'm going to dye them out red or purple. And we'll keep them in the original box. You can, if you order a Pratheon, if they're still available, order all sorts of aftermarket scales, including um, Mokutai. You can spend basically the price of the knife on inserts if you want in a backspacer. I like just the plain flat gray. It does add a little weight, but not much. And there you have it. Uh, freshly lubed, freshly put together. Uh, this is the uh, Arcane Designs Pratheon made a little more personal. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. I hope you, hope you have enjoyed this video. I know I've enjoyed personalizing this knife. God, this thing is cool. It really is. Uh, like I said, it's small for me. You know, I mean, I like bigger knives, but this thing has... I want to put a little ding on the paint back there. What a bummer. Uh, this thing just has something to it that makes me really, really happy. Anyway, if you're interested in this knife, you can check out the uh, full review. I will post a link to that in the description. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day. We'll see you next time.